guys, welcome back to Homework Help, um, the United States things, and today I'm just with Red, and I'm actually going to start making some stuffed animal videos soon, so this is Red, and she's just wearing this yellow onesie right now. It's kind of falling down, so let me fix that. So she's just going to sit right there, and let's see where Connecticut is. I don't see it anywhere. Wait a second, Red, do you see it? Yes, it's right here. Where, where, where? Let me show you. That little blue thing. It's so tiny. Oh, I see. So this is Connecticut. So I'm not actually able to show you just Connecticut because it is connected to Massachusetts and Rhode Island. But the capital of Connecticut is Hartford. It's just connected that way so that it's harder to lose the pieces. Sorry about that. Their nickname is the Constitution State. They became a United State on January 9th, 1788. Their state bird is the robin. Their flower is the mountain laurel. And their motto is, he who transplanted still sustains. Quick facts. In, 18, nine, in 1878, 21 citizens of New Haven became the world's first subscribers to a telephone exchange service. The Hartford Current is the oldest newspaper in the U.S. still in circulation. Noah Webster, the author of the first dictionary, was born in West Hartford. Great job, Red. Let's take a look at what's around Connecticut. So, like I said, Connecticut is that little light blue state right there. So, it looks like north of Connecticut. Let me just position you guys right here. North of Connecticut is Massachusetts. West is New York. And east is Rhode Island and south is part of the uh, Atlantic Ocean and a little bit of New York there too and also I guess New Jersey if you count that and its nearest ocean is the Atlantic well I hope you guys were able to learn something new about Connecticut today and I hope you enjoyed having red along with us today bye guys